On Education Matters, needy students in various secondary schools and colleges in Isiolo County are set to benefit from bursaries worth 35 million shillings from the county government to enable them to continue with their studies after the prolonged drought situation in most parts of the county, which has claimed the lives of thousands of livestock, which is the main economic activity of the local pastoralist communities in the county. Let's have a look. It is a sigh of relief to parents and students in Isiolo after the county government unveiled a 35 million shilling bursary kitty to help needy students in the county to continue with their studies. We are in the process of sourcing an additional 65 million to go to the bursary kitty. <laughs> this will bring the total amount of bursary to Kenya shillings a hundred million that my administration will have to disperse to deserving students this year. Yeah. Speaking during the launch of the Basari program, Isiolo Governor Abdi Ibrahim Goyo noted that due to high poverty levels and other factors such as prolonged drought in the county, many students drop out of school. My government has in recent past, past in partnership with direct aid, and Malaysia Edu secured scholarship for 70 of our youth to travel abroad, abroad to study medicine, engineering, and other STEM courses. In addressing hunger in schools, Guyo noted that his government has partnered with the Institute for Human Development to ensure school-going children get food. My government has in past few weeks worked in, with partnership partnership with the Institute of Human Development at Hassan University to, for, to formulate its YOLO early childhood development and education meal policy. It is my desire that once, complete the, once we complete the policy, we will, will help us ensure enhanced access, retention and transition in ECD sector through meal provision for our learners. On his part, the chairman of Isiolo Parent Association, Hassan Galama, said the Basari Kitty has a great impact on the lives of individuals in the society and helps to reduce the financial burden on parents. Beneficiaries of this program are expected to form the much needed human resource capital needed in the county. For lunchtime news, I'm Abdulaziz Abeid.